But for now, let's head over to the updates with Desiani Alison Madweke. And court orders EFCC DSS the police to produce Desiani in 72 hours. A federal high court judge gave what appears to be a tall order to the EFCC DSS and the Nigerian police force to produce within 20, 72 hours, sorry, Desiani Alison Madweke, former Petroleum Minister of Nigeria. Desani is based in London, facing a probe by an anti graft agency, and the EFCC only recently began to explore the possibility of extraditing her to Nigeria. Justice Valentine Ashi of a federal capital territory high court sitting in Apo Abuja on December the 4th, 2018. Perhaps ob oblivious of this, ordered all the security agencies to apprehend and arrest Diazani within 72 hours. The order was made following a motion of the ex parte moved by counsel to the EFCC, um, Swadenga, praying for an order of the court to issue a warrant of arrest against Madweke to enable the commission apprehend and arraign her for alleged financial crimes in Nigeria. The EFCC investigated the former minister along with Jide Omokore, a former chairman, Atlantic Energy Drilling Company, following a petition dated October 2, 2013, from Coalition Against Corrupt Leaders, bordering on money laundering and official corruption. Investigations into the petition revealed that Madeke, as supervising minister of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, was found to have engaged in illicit and monumental fraudulent dealings in oil transactions, which he entered into on behalf of the federal government. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.